We have so many people, so many Rabbanim and, and holy people telling us how to digest what happened in Moran, this tremendous tragedy. But there's two points that I thought of that I think are, are important even for a non-rabbi like me to be able to say. The first thing is, why do, you, why do we care? I'm sure everybody here would say that you had a horrible week, a horrible few days, right? It was tragic, tragedy, everybody feels it. And I don't know how many people would, would feel on this level for, for a group that they may or may not know. Why do we care? And I just, I just feel like we hear so much that we are one, that we are one family, that we were by Harsinai together, that we're all really chelikel kamimal, we, 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 are, we are carved out of the Kisya covered. We're all banim atem Hashem alekechem. We're all brothers. We're all sisters. We hear all this stuff. And it's hard to really feel, especially sometimes there's a lot of arguing and about shitas and stuff, and we don't always play nicely in the sandbox, you know? A lot of, you know, shenhara and rechilos. And... But all of a sudden, the tragedy happens, and, and we care so deeply. I saw how many people were mamish... Deep, deep inside, crying. Why? Why? You know them? So if you know them, okay, I understand a little bit. What about, you don't know them. And it brought out so much that we, re we really are a family. We really are connected. Whether, whether we think about it or not, and a lot of times throughout the year or years, we're thinking about negative about each other. It doesn't matter. That love is baked inside of us, mamish, like, a, like, like literally like brothers and sisters. We really care. Why do we care? Because we really, really are one. And, and unfortunately, it took this tragedy to bring out this feeling that we don't have otherwise. Let's not wait for tragedies to, to bring this out. Let's just bake it into ourselves that we just lived through something that proved to us how close we are. It could be a total stranger. Now, I was, I was in a different uh, city. I was walking on Shabbos with my friend. And about a half a block in front of us, we saw three Jewish girls. You could see that they're Jewish. They're walking. And I told my friend, I said, you know what's amazing? I don't know who they are. He didn't know who they are. Three young Jewish girls, 14, 15, whatever. I said, if a car would pull up now, two guys would jump out of the car, what would we do? We would run to save them. Even though we're not Superman and we're not karate experts and maybe we'll get beat up, we wouldn't think. We wouldn't think about it. Why? Why? We don't even know who they are, because we're mamish connected. You, you can go to different places, and, and there's a certain comfort, comfort in the airport. You see people, maybe, maybe we'll argue, or maybe we'll have different cheetahs, but something happens. We're there for each other, mamish like 100%. It's, it's unbelievable. It's mamish amazing, but we're mamish one. And it's like, isn't that amazing? Like three strange girls, why, why, why do you care? Everybody would do it. There's nobody that would, that would treat it the same as, a, as if it wasn't they weren't Jewish. This, this, this mamish, something inside of us that we are mamish connected. We shouldn't have to wait for, for tragedy to strike for us to, to realize this, this gift and responsibility that we have to each other. And we shouldn't let shtusim, you know, get blocked. It's such, it's such a shame to let little things block such a deep, important feeling that we're part of something amazing and we're so connected. And the second thing that I realized is that, you know, I always think about this when a police officer or a fireman dies in service. They make such a, a huge commemoration. They, they, they have like this whole, right, a huge thing and everybody from the police department and every, all the mayor and everybody comes and this whole ceremony happens. And why? The reason is not only because of the person who died in service. It's not, not only because... Did we lose you? You want to help? Uh, again? It's not only because of what happened to this police officer or to this fireman. It's, it shows us how much we appreciate all the ones who didn't die in service. It shows us how we feel about all the policemen. Right? When they have a moment of silence and everybody's quiet for the one who died, it's not. It's because we realize that every single day the policemen, the firemen are putting their lives at risk for us and we, we don't appreciate them as much. So we use that opportunity when one of them loses his life to show our appreciation to everybody. Right? And I think it's the same thing over here. 
we have to we have to show our appreciation. Not it's not just about these these people who died. We have to show our appreciation to Klal so who didn't die. And we have to use this feeling that we have during this time of mourning and, and feeling pain for other people to motivate us to understand that we're not just celebrating, we're not just it's not a ceremony just of these lives. It could have been any, it could have been any any lives. My son was f- five seconds away from there and, and his friends were and the people, it could have been anybody. And and we have to use this to to appreciate everybody else. Every Jewish person should realize how precious they are. That if they would have been one of these 45 people, and then they would know how precious they are. But now that they weren't killed, so they shouldn't know how precious they are. Any anybody who would have been number 46, number 47, Achman Alatzlan, the whole Klal Yisrael would be crying for you. So why do we only have to do that after they're dead? Why can't we make every Yid realize now how precious they really are to us, to all of us? I think we can we can learn these lessons. And hopefully, hopefully we can grow from that.